In this video, I'll show you how to work the knitted on cast on technique. This technique is used in many situations. Um, you could use it to initially cast on, to cast on at the beginning of a row when working neck shaping, or to cast on for underarm stitches in a top down sweater. The biggest difference between a knitted on cast on and a cable cast on is that a knitted on cast on allows a little bit more flexibility. A cable cast on provides a much more sturdy edge. Um, so depending on what the designer's intent is in a pattern, um, sometimes you'll, you'll find they'll instruct you to do a knitted on cast on. So in this demo, I'm going to be casting on at the beginning of a row, just like you would do for neck shaping, uh, but the technique is the same regardless of when you use it. So at the beginning of a right side row, with your yarn held in the back, you're going to insert the right needle into the first stitch on the left needle, just like you would if you were going to go knit it. You're going to wrap the yarn around the right needle, bring the loop through, again, just like if you were going to knit it, but then you're going to take this loop and you're going to place it on the left needle. Let's do that again. So go into the next stitch as if to knit it, wrap the yarn around the right needle, bring the loop through, and without sliding anything off of the left needle, take this loop and place it on the left needle. Usually after I've cast on about two stitches, I'll take a removable marker and place it right before the cast on stitches. I usually like to do it after I've cast on a stitch or two, just so that the marker isn't in my way. But this way you can keep track of how many stitches that you've cast on. I'm going to go ahead and just do one more for you. So insert it just like you would to knit. Wrap the yarn, bring the loop through. And often I find it easier if I really bring a big loop through. And then I go ahead and I place it right on the left needle. And that is how you work a knitted on cast on.